getting tires for the Corvette is tough. I have been looking at Tire Rack, I've been calling around to local tire shops in my area and either only fronts are available or none are available. It's weird. Or it's like a 30 day or a 60 day or just an indefinite wait. Hey, excuse me. Do you want to be on YouTube? What used to be known as Mr. Pickles in the process of an ownership change? Come check us out, Southeast Petaluma. That was the first handshake I've had since the beginning of this pandemic. called uh, one shop that reached out to their uh, to their Michelin rep so what the Michelin rep explained to him was that Michelin actually stopped production due to COVID and the very first thing that they stopped was production for tires for exotics Corvettes all their high-performance tires right and it's also the last type of production of, of tire that they're uh, ramping up and that, that they're starting to produce again. So it created a huge shortage in the market and while they have started uh, production again, it's they, they, they are on, uh, on months and months and months of, uh, of back orders. So because of that, I think prices have gone up. I'm not sure, don't, don't quote me on that. Um, Corvette tires have always been expensive. But because of that, you just can't find tires anywhere. So I'm sure some of you have come across that and, and that's the explanation for why. So today's episode, well, I don't know if it's an entire episode, but today um, I'm actually headed out to Sears Point Raceway. A uh, friend of mine that I met recently at a car rally, he sold a C7. He bought a C8 and he's, he posted that he's selling his uh, Forge Line uh, rims and his uh, Michelin tires, Pilot Sports, for super cheap, $2,500 for the tires and the rims. So I had, to, I had to jump on that. I'm heading out there right now to meet him. The wheels themselves, I'm not 100% sure on. I, I do like them. Wait till you see them, tell me what your thoughts are. I think they'll go really well with the vet, but I won't know until I actually have them side by side against the vet and I see them in person. They call these gold? Transparent gold. Transparent gold. And you yeah. had them like special made for you? Yeah. Well, what was special made about them? Just the color? I think the color is just the color. <laughs> yeah, I think they're beautiful, man. They're already weighted on everything for it. Oh, they're balanced? Yeah. I don't need to worry about that? No. I mean, you can always check it because sometimes, you know, cars are different, so. Yeah. How long did you wait? Did you have to wait to get them? Uh, it took a little while. I think it was like about two, two months. Yeah, they're beautiful. I just hope they match my uh, my yellow wrap. Got them all in there. You good? Yeah. They're good. That was the first handshake I've had since the beginning of this pandemic and boy did I feel human again. Let's get on the road and go get these bad boys installed. But first I'm gonna stop by at my boy Dan's shop and say what's up. Hey, excuse me. Do you wanna be on YouTube? YouTube? <laughs> 
Yeah, you can use me if you want. <laughs> I got something to show you. Oh yeah, what's up? Yeah. What's up, dude? What's up, Romy? Let's Check go. it out. Give me your honest opinion. I just picked these up. What are your thoughts? For your vet? Yeah. You can give me your honest thoughts if you like them or don't. Honestly. I think it would the color would clash weird with your with the yellow. yellow. Right. Exactly. But if I take the yellow off. You take the yellow off, it might look pretty cool. Have you put them up next to the vet to see what it looks like next to the, the gunmetal gray? Not yet. I literally just picked these up from a guy that sold them to me out at Sears Point. So You're going to need... Oh, no, it's just rocks. That's just a rock. So, Michelin tires are so hard to get a hold of. These tires alone are $2,000. Dang. But, for all four. Right. But, they're not... Um, they're not uh, manufacturing them right now, right? Because okay. of the pandemic. Sure. So uh, this guy sold these tires with 500 miles and those rims, those are like $3,000 rims. Yeah. For how much? 15? 2,500 bucks. That's not bad. So worst case scenario, I can take the tires off <laughs> right. and put them on my old, my old rims, uh -huh. right? And then I can sell the sell these rims if I don't like them, or I can powder coat them. Yeah, I was gonna say if you powder coat those, you can put whatever color you want on them. Yeah, I do like the five split spoke though. I like that design. Right? Yeah. I always like those designs. Yeah. Yeah, I like a, I like the five split that. spoke, split split spoke. And he had these custom made by Forge Line. These are wow, like. They, they have a whole page on their website uh -huh. for this exact wheel and this uh, the color the color is the cu custom color yeah but yeah i think if, if if it would all look it would all depend on how they look next to the gray to, if you left them gold uh, i think it would be weird with the yellow because your yellow is more of a bright yellow versus that's so like a darker yellow gold. okay you know what I'm saying? but check this out so did you put it up next to your car and see no what it looks like? so his car was the gunmetal it's your it's your vet it's my vet with a ground effects kit it looks like yeah and i think those look good yeah right? what, what color are the calipers on your on your vet are they they're red, red also they're red okay <laughs> So this is my boy Dan. Dan, thanks for your opinion. Of course. Um, for all the local uh, fans that we have out there, if you want a good sandwich, he's the brand new owner of Dandy Sandos. What used to be known as Mr. Pickles in the process of an ownership change? Come check us out, Southeast Petaluma. Thanks for your opinion, man. I'm gonna, I'm gonna slap those wheels on there and I'll send you some pictures. Do it to it. <laughs> If you guys need uh, sandwiches for an event, they also do catering. Stop by Dandy Sandos, you guys. Bomb sandwiches. So after leaving Dan's shop, I started second guessing myself and thought maybe they won't look good on the yellow vet. Let's get another opinion. Rims <laughs> out. I know you're gonna like them. I think they're sick. I just don't know if they're gonna work with my wrap. Oh, that's a sweet color. Oh, I think that's gonna work just fine. Man, that's nice. What do you think? Straight oh. up, be honest. Oh yeah, no, I, I like them. Right? I like them. I definitely like them. That's a cool color. Isn't that sick? Yeah, that's a sick color. Do you think it'll work with the wrap? I mean, I it's it almost exist, yellow, you know? dude. It's almost know, yellow. That, that wrap might change the color of this, you know? It might, it might, you know? It might be perfect, actually. I think it would look good. Yeah. I mean, look at it. I mean, it's not that yellow color, but... It's not that yellow color, but it might but it actually complement the yellow wrap. Oh, yeah. I'm sure it's going to look sick. You tell me if you didn't like them, right? Oh, I tell you. <laughs> I tell you. No, I like those. Yeah. I like those. Yeah, they're sick. They're clean. Custom made. Yeah. At least it's a custom made color. The guy that I bought it from, like he has a whole page on Forge Line's website. Oh, really? Yeah, they did a whole page about these about these exact uh, tires. That's crazy. <laughs> Those are going to look sick. Yeah, I just got to go yeah. get them balanced, make sure they're balanced, and install them. Sweet. I can't wait to see them on there. Sweet. You better drive by and show I me. I will. Yeah, better. <laughs> Thanks, <man. laughs> Hey, you were saying you want tires for that? 
Yeah. You need some rims for it? Yeah, right? I got some right here. How much you paying me? <laughs> I don't think that color would compliment my, my, my Jeep. <laughs> Why not? We got to try it. Oh, set it next to it? <laughs> <laughs> They think that'd be good for donuts, right? Oh yeah, that looks, dude, that actually looks sick. <laughs> that's a good color combo. <laughs> oh, that's actually not bad. <laughs> Give me some ideas. <laughs> for those of you that know me, you know that I get stuff done and I get it done fast. I made a bunch of phone calls and found America's tire down the street. They were willing to do the install right away. If you're wondering why I'm so far away zoomed in on the installation, it's because management for liability could not allow me to film during the installation. But there was no stopping me from getting the cameras out after the work was done. I wasn't sure how it would turn out with the yellow wrap, yeah. but it came out. Oh. against them when I wanted to buy her my brother's like no gold he wants gold that's like yeah, that looks sweet yeah I love the look I love think them. I think they're so sick <laughs> yeah I'm very happy with this <laughs> with these oh I didn't close no. my gas cap I was one of those guys <laughs> at least it wasn't popped open <laughs> That looks clean. Yeah, I'll have to do like a... I like what the, the red looks nice behind it too. I know. It like floats. Like with the red down to the red. It does. It does That's float. a good point. Before, I felt like all this was just like black space. It was just like muted out almost. Yeah. But right here, now you're just like, bam. Like, look at that color. <laughs> it just pops so well. Yeah. Thank you. I like it. That was definitely a good choice. For the price of tires. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Basically, tires would have been like 2400 bucks. Yeah, no, that was nice. Right? Sweet. And they have like a different look in the, in the sun. Oh, we oh, just got some new got tires. Some new tires some new rims. rims. So, checking them out. What do you think? Do you like? Those are pretty clean, huh? I don't like the gold on the yellow. <laughs> That's the only thing I, that we're iffy yeah. about, but I think uh, I think overall it, it works. You should probably wash it. Yeah, I know. I know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, take it to get a bath. <laughs> yeah, she needs a bath. That looks clean. So today's moral of the story that I learned is to just go with my gut. I loved these rims the second I saw them for sale, and. I shouldn't have cared what anybody else says and it's actually easier said than done because I always look for friends opinions I don't know why I do that maybe some of you can relate but um, moral of the story just go with your gut and if you feel like you're going to like something just go for it because everybody else's opinions really don't matter at the end it's all about your own taste and some of my friends and some people are gonna love this look and some won't but what matters is what I like and I'm in love with these. My car's got a whole new look. Of course, it did help a little bit that Chris and Aaron and 
my boy Big Mike uh, actually loved the way that this looks. That helped a little bit. And uh, in the end, my brother, who didn't like them at all, when he saw them in person, he loved them too. So yeah, I will admit at the end of it all, when you're undecisive, when you're undecided about something and you finally go for it, and then you get a whole bunch of people that also like it, you end up uh, loving it even more. That's actually what happened with the wrap too. I was unsure, although I knew I wanted it deep inside, and then I ended up loving it as everybody else gave me compliments. So it's weird how our mind works that way, isn't it? I really should just have a mind of my own. I should grow up already. Okay, forget the moral of the story. I want Robert's opinion. What? What is it? <laughs> oh, tell me what you think of the vet. All right. I made a little change to it. <laughs> Bro. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, I like it. Oh well, hell yeah. Right? Oh shit. <laughs> Man. I was just, that looks so clean. I was just saying on video that I really shouldn't care about people's opinions and what they think about, you know, things that are like this that are my taste, but it feels so much better when somebody else likes it. I gotta clean the whole car, dude. I, I, I ran out of all my, uh, all, your stuff? all my stuff, yeah. All my cleaning product. This looks cool, I like it. Right? It, it fits. It totally fits, even with the yellow wrap, it works. Yep. <laughs> yep. Yeah. All right, good. Now I feel a hundred times better. Just kidding, I already loved it. Maybe I can get them for my Kia. You want them for the Kia? All right. I'll call my boy, I'll see if he has any. <laughs> All right, one more person's here to see the car. I told them that it doesn't matter what everybody's opinion is, but I know that it does. I love it. Oh my gosh, it looks so good. Isn't it so different? It looks so good. I was like unsure, but it looks perfect. Right? Even with the yellow. Oh yes. It's so different. I know, it's like a whole new car. Thumbs wow. up? Double thumbs up. High five? High five and cinco and, and two thousand. Cinco de mayo. Cinco de mayo. <laughs> <laughs> I love. The rims are installed and they are badass. Oh my god, I'm so in love with them. I don't know why I second guess myself. Probably because I just think too much. But Juan, thank you for selling me those tires and rims. They look ah, love it. Absolutely. It, it, it changed the look of the car again. So I gotta now get some more drone footage and get some more roll by shots. And uh, I got more work to do for you guys. So I love the way it turns out. And uh, I got more footage for you guys in the future. Thanks for watching, as always. This is Build Emotion, checking out.